Let's solve problem 4.21 from Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Sedren Smith. A particular diode is found to conduct 1 milliamp with a junction voltage of 0 0.7 volts. And then it's just going to ask us what current will flow if the junction is raised to different amounts of voltage. So we have a 0 0.7 voltage junction. We have a current of 1 milliamps. Now the next several problems in this textbook are going to be very algebraic in nature and that's because we're going to rely on a lot of critical equations. So the one for this problem we're going to use is that the current across the diode is equal to source current, which I'll explain what that is shortly, multiplied by E, Euler's number, the exponent of the diode voltage, divided by the thermal voltage. So let's break down this equation. So of course ID would be this one milliamp. VD would be the voltage drop across the diode, junction voltage. IS is the source current, which is supplied by essentially every diode has a source current. It's very small, it's very minuscule, but it's critical when determining this current ID. And VT is thermal voltage, which is just a property that semiconductors have. Um, and it's a constant value. For most diodes, it's going to be 25 millivolts or 0 0.025 volts. So let's set up an equation based on this information. So we have our diode current one milliamp. We were not given our source current, IS. Raise the exponential function, VD, 0 0.7 volts, divided by 0 0.025 volts. But what if I want to find the junction voltage raised to 0 0.71 volts? Okay. Well, I don't know what current will flow. We're solving for that. So we'll just write ID for now is equal to IS. I still don't know what that is. Times E to the power of our new junction voltage, 0 0.71 volts divided by 0 0.025 volts. So how can I solve for ID? Well, I have an expression for IS right here. I know that IS is equal to one milliamp divided by 0 0.7, or excuse me, divided by e to the power of 0 0.7 volts divided by 0 0.025 volts. And you can hand calculate this value. I actually did it earlier. It's equal to 6.914 times 10 to the negative 16th amps. So very small value. But let's use this to solve for ID. So you can just plug this number straight into here for IS. You can also plug in this expression into IS. And I'll save the algebra for another video. But basically, this is going to equal 1 milliamp times E to the power of E to the 0 0.71 volts minus 0 0.7 volts over 0 0.025 volts. Essentially what was happening is we're dividing this exponential, we're dividing this 0 0.71 exponential with the 0 0.7 exponential. And we know that when we divide two exponential functions, that is the same as just subtracting them. So you can try the algebra out for yourself, but that's just a brief summary of what's happening. And that's how we get to this value. So for 0 0.71 volts, our new current will be, if I can the calculator out, it'll be 1.49 milliamps. So we see, and you probably could have guessed that by increasing the voltage, we increased the current along the diode as well. So let's continue with our new junction voltages. So 
So you can probably guess it's a really similar process. So we'll say ID2 is for the 0 0.8 volts. So again, that's just equal to 1 milliamp times e to the power of now it's 0 0.8 minus 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.025 volts. That is equal to 54.6 milliamps. So now it's increased a lot more. And if you've looked at a data sheet for a diode, you will know that for most diodes, it will start to really conduct current at 0 0.7 volts. And then any more voltage past that, it will conduct a lot more current. It's an exponential relationship. Okay, let's let ID3. ID3 before the 0 0.69 volts. You can probably already guess again. It's 1 milliamp times e to the power of 0 0.69 minus 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.025. That is equal to 0 0.67 milliamps. So a little bit less than the original 1 milliamp. Would ID4 be for this 0 0.67 volts? Or sorry, just 0 0.6 volts. That's 1 milliamp times e to the power of 0 0.6 minus 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.025. We get 18.3 microamps. So now it's a lot less. Okay. And for the last part, what change in junction voltage? We'll double the diode current. Again, this is kind of just using algebraic expressions, but we can say our factor of increase is equal to E to the power of delta VD, where this is the change in voltage divided by our thermal voltage. So we want this to double. So to increase by a factor of 2, we're just going to have 2 equals e to the power of delta Vd divided by 0 0.025. And then you can take the natural log of both sides, remove this exponent, multiply 0 0.025 to the other side. So you would get delta Vd is equal to 0 0.025 times the natural log of and don't have that number off the top of my calculator. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I got 57.6 milliamps for that answer. And basically what this whole problem is trying to kind of demonstrate to you is the voltage and current relationship between a diode. So typically we will express this with voltage on the y, or sorry, the x-axis, current on the y-axis. So usually what will happen is around 0 0.7 volts, we'll start to see some current conduct. And then pretty soon after that, around 0 0.8 volts, it will increase exponentially.